Hi there and welcome to the little garden kitchen. So besides growing vegetables outdoor during the spring and summer season, one of the other things that I really like to do is grow and collect herbs and weeds and flowers that I can bring into my home and dry out and use them to make a variety of different recipes like salves, lotions, soaps. So today's video, we are going to go through how to do a oil infusion using dandelions today. And then I'm going to show you a very simple two or three ingredient recipe for a salve that you can easily make with your oil infusion. So before I go through the various methods of how you can do an oil infusion, I just wanted to go through a couple of the, or a few of my favorite herbs, flowers, weeds that I like to use in my recipes. So most of our yards and gardens are full of a whole variety of flowers and weeds and herbs that are not only great to eat or use in our cooking and recipes, but they also have a lot of really great properties that make them good ingredients to use in homemade salves and soaps and lotions. So some of my favorite ones to grow are the calendula, mint, chamomile, um, basil, and of course, I have no end of dandelions in my yard. I'm sure most people uh, have them as well. If you aren't a lover of dandelions, which most people aren't, you know that it is a real battle to try to keep them under control and keep them out of your yard. I gave up on that years and years ago when I lived in town, moved out to the country, and I have unlimited dandelions in my yard. There's no way I would ever even attempt to try and kill them off with any kind of pesticides. I prefer not to use them in my yard. And instead, I'm just embracing the wonderful properties that downy lines do contain. And one of the ingredients they have is lecithin. So that is kind of a healing agent that when you infuse it into an oil like this and create a, a lotion or you know soaps or a salve like we're gonna do today, it's great for dry skin, sores on your skin. So it's just a great healing agent. And so why not make use of the dandelions, do a quick infusion, and I'm gonna show you how to make a very easy salve. So there, there's basically three ways you can do an oil infusion. There's the traditional method, there's the sunny window method, and then there is what I call the quick method. So the, the traditional method is to fill a jar with dried herbs, flowers, weeds, whatever you're gonna be using. Make sure they are completely dry and have no moisture in them. You don't want any uh, water in your oil infusions because that could lead to bacteria growth. So then once you've got your jar maybe half full of the uh, weeds or flowers, you would just top it up with your favorite oil. So I would say, you know, the most probably basic, affordable, easy to find oils would include olive oil, avocado oil, uh, sunflower oil. I'm using grapeseed oil today, but there's also you know, a whole variety of more, what I call higher end oils that have you know all sorts of great properties. They're a little more expensive. Usually you have to find them online, such as like apricot oil or sweet almond oil. Um, hemp seed oil. There's just an endless amount and each of them have, you know, different properties that are great for your skin. What I like about the grapeseed oil, it's a very light oil and it absorbs into the skin quickly, which makes it, you know, a great ingredient for a salve. Grapeseed oil also works well as a massage oil. So even if you just do an infusion with some kind of um, weed or flower and just use that oil to you know, as a massage oil, you don't have to, you know, turn it into any kind of salve. You can just use the oil itself as a massage oil. So getting back to the long form method, once you've got your oil and your weeds, flowers or whatever in the jar, you basically just put this in a cool, dark spot on the shelf in your pantry and just leave it for four to six weeks and let all that goodness slowly infuse into the oil. The sunny window method is a little bit quicker and that is basically doing the same thing, except that you want to leave some airflow on the top and put something like a piece of cheesecloth over the top with an elastic band, just in case 
there's any condensation while it's sitting in the window. You want that moisture to be able to escape and plus you don't want any bugs or anything getting into your oil. But you only want to leave it in that sunny location for about four to five days and then it should be ready to use or you can put it on the shelf in a cool dark place until you're ready to use it. But if you are looking to do a quick method because you want to make your salves or soaps or lotions right away, then you can do a double boiler method or the slow cooker method, which is what I did for this. So basically you want to put it in a double boiler in the jar just like this and let it slowly simmer away for, you know, two to four hours. Don't let the water get too hot. So I did the slow cooker method by just filling my slow cooker about half full with some warm water kept it on a low setting, had the jar sitting in there pretty much all day, covered it with a tea towel just to kind of keep that heat inside, give it a stir every hour or two. So that way the infusion can kind of go on all day while you're doing other things, which is great. And then I just removed it from the water, uh, put the lid on it and just kept it in a dark place until I was ready to use it. So now we're ready to make our salve. So the first thing you want to do is to Drain off all those dandelions. The easiest way is just with some cheesecloth and a, and a sieve and just a new jar that you're going to store your infused oils in. And just let it run through. Nice thing about the dandelions and the grapeseed oil, it really creates a nice beautiful yellow uh, colored oil, which I think will make a very pretty salve. So for today's recipe, we're going to be doing a 100 milliliter size recipe. So it depends on how much you want to make. You can make a very small amount because it's just going to basically be oil and some beeswax. If you are making some for friends like I'm going to be doing today, then you might want to make a larger batch. I would say the shelf life of most salves that you're making yourself is around that nine months to a year. So making a huge amount that you might not use up, you know, in one year is, is really not, is really a waste of time. So, so I always like to just make batches that I know I'm going to be using up over the next, you know, six to 12 months. So once you have filtered off all the dandelions, you're ready to start making your recipe here. As I mentioned, I'm going to be making a hundred milliliter size recipe. So I'm going to be using these small size containers here that I uh, purchased off of Amazon. I'll leave you the link uh, in the description box below. This is a 10 gram size. So based on my, my 100 milliliter recipe, I should be able to fill up 10 of these. So I'm going to be doing this in grams or milliliters. So I'm going to be starting off with 100 grams of the oil. So you can always adjust your recipe depending on how much or how little you want to make each time. I'll leave this recipe that I'm making today in the description box below. So the second ingredient that you're going to be adding is beeswax pellets. So I'm going to be adding 14 grams of beeswax to this 100 mils and then we are ready to put it on the double boiler. So these beeswax pellets should melt fairly quickly. You just want to keep an eye on it and just stir it until those are all fully melted and fully incorporated into your oil. So before adding anything to your containers here, I recommend giving them a little spritz with some rubbing alcohol just to disinfect them. So at this point, you can just pour them into your containers unscented, but you have the option to add some of your favorite essential oils. I'm going to be putting a few drops of lavender into mine today. I would say about five to ten drops should be lots. Just stir that in a bit more when you're ready to pour it into your containers.
So once you've got all your containers filled, just let this harden and it'll be ready to use right away. So after about an hour or so, this should be all set and ready to use. I like to rub it into my cuticles here. After working out in the garden and washing my hands, it's just nice to work some of this oil into your hands just to get rid of some of that rough chapped feeling. Works good on, you know, minor cuts. If you got maybe a mosquito bite or a bug bite, this is also good for that as well. So if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more of this kind of video, please let me know in the comments. And you can hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and we will see you in the next video.